to the UN Tool Parade, the teacher-to-teacher -teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you from the University of Windsor's Faculty of Education. I'm Olivia, and today we're talking Google Expeditions. Google Expeditions is a virtual and augmented reality platform that will allow you to never have to book buses for a field trip again. Wait, no field trips? No real life experience? Just retina burning screen time? Sometimes, screens can take you further than you think, like to the Great Wall of China, or to visit an elephant. First, let's clarify. Virtual reality is a way to bring your students outside of the classroom using a headset, such as Google Cardboard, whereas augmented reality is a way to virtually bring the world into your classroom by using just the screen of an electronic device. Google Expeditions gives you both, depending on what you have available to you. You can go on museum tours, guided field trips, or even examine the structure of an atom, and that's just to name a few. Also pair the app with Google Street View, which allows you to take your students on geography scavenger hunts, or have them create their own virtual reality tour by using Google's Tour Creator. Bonus tip, if you have students who aren't too comfortable with biology dissections, you can have them do virtual dissections using Google Expedition. Google Expeditions is largely free to most school boards, however, it does mean that your students' data is being held in the cloud. And most boards have different policies surrounding this. Every time a student needs to log into a Google app, they'll need a Google account, and this will collect basic information like their name, their email, their password, and their IP address. However, no ads are actually pushed towards students in the Google Expeditions app itself. However, Google does charge a fee if you want their virtual reality kit. A set of 30 can run upwards of $10,000. However, it does include everything you need in order to run a virtual tour. You can try and cut this cost to around $400 by making your own headsets. If money and crafts aren't your forte, then the augmented reality capabilities are the way to go. It doesn't require any headsets and can be projected onto your smart board. In terms of differentiated instruction, Google Expedition allows your students to see the world in a way that they may not be able to otherwise. The virtual reality tour option gives students the ability to exist in geographical spaces regardless of their ability and socioeconomic status. The augmented reality aspect can offer clear illustrations of concepts for the students who need to see the big picture before they can work with them hands-on. So the next time you want to take your students halfway across the world, try Google Expeditions. Overall, Google Expeditions gets one apple from the teacher for being a unique and immersive experience. It gets one apple for data because it only collects the bare minimum and it doesn't push ads at your students. And another full apple for differentiated instruction because any student can participate. That's three out of three apples for Google Expeditions. Thanks for talking Google Expeditions. Make sure to follow us at hashtag UNToolParade and let us know in the comments what platforms you would like us to talk about next.